Jericho has that excited look in his eyes again, which can only mean one thing. It's time for another fanatical mystery bundle. Hey there, real gamers, Retro Rob here, and welcome to Retro Rob Plays Everything. I am so caffeinated today. <laughs> anyway, anyway, today we're gonna look at another fanatical mystery bundle. This time it's the mystery egg bundle. We're gonna do 10 games on this one. I have been doing 20, but it, it seems to drag on a little bit too much. So let me know how that goes for you. Maybe I should settle at 15 or something. You know, by the way, you do get an extra one extra key if you do 20, so that's pretty cool. But anyway, let's go take a look at what I got here. And here we are with the mystery egg bundle. 10 mystery eggs for $6.99. I could go up to 20 for $13.49, but we're gonna do it this way, just to keep things nice and simple. And so I don't keep you here for an hour, like I did in the last video. <laughs> Sorry, it was too long, I'll admit it. Anyway. About this bundle, we are egg. Yeah, of course, we are extremely excited to introduce the brand new mystery egg bundle. Are you ready for some excellent titles? Add your <laughs> sorry. Add to your Steam library by selecting up to two cracking games with Fanatical's extravaganza mystery egg bundle. The Mystery Egg Bundle contains a variety of amazing games that will keep you entertained for hours. Featuring AAA titles and hidden gems from acclaimed developers and publishers such as Square Enix, Bethesda, Deep Silver, Prime Matter, Team 17, and more. Just like last year, we've hidden golden eggs that are waiting to hatch. Find one and you'll get an extra Easter treat with a huge value of $1,000 worth of games. With a golden egg, You'll find thrilling games such as Resident Evil 4, Like a Dragon, <laughs> what the heck, Like a Dragon Eye Shin, I think, Street Fighter 6, and many more. All right, there we go. Let's buy this thing and get cracking. Ah, oh, man, I remember when I was younger and I used to, uh, used to be too snobby for puns. Just wait till you're a parent. I don't know what that had to do with this. Let's get going. All right, first things first, I have to give them some points for presentation. Look at, look at, ooh. Except, what if I click this here? Yeah, sure enough, there we go. Machinica Museum, I have never heard of that one. Machinica Museum, I hope I'm pronouncing that one right. Welcome to the museum. Machitica Museum is a mystery game where you discover beautiful and mysterious machines of extraterrestrial origins in an atmospheric, galaxy-spinning 3D puzzle game. Will you be able to understand their stories and discover what happened to their previous owner? Sitting on 482 very positive reviews. It was released in 2021. Developer was Littlefield Studio, developed by PID Games. So it's a point and click uh, puzzle game, you know, where you manipulate things, which is not bad. It logged in at $7.99. There we go, instantly paying for the entire bundle. And I did not have this one already, so it's good. It's available on Windows and Mac. Number two. Open that Easter egg. It does say open Easter egg right there. Okay, Astronarch. I don't have that one either, I don't think. Oh, heck yeah, Astronarch. I did not have this one, or Astronarch, I think. Hopefully I pronounced that right. A fusion of roguelikes and auto battlers like never before seen. Recruit a party of mysterious heroes, navigate deadly lands, collect an arsenal of magical items, and vanquish a new evil threatening the realm and this looks like my kind of thing city on 668 very positive reviews so that's fairly reliable it's developed and published by dale turner how much was this guy originally 14.99 so not bad and uh, i did not have this one before 
So looking good. And here's another mystery egg. Dead Island Riptide Definitive Edition. All right, Dead Island Riptide Definitive Edition. I did already have this one. Uh, that, that said, mostly positive on 3,935 reviews. I've played this on the Steam Deck before uh, as a live stream, as I recall. And uh, yeah, this game's absolutely great. It was developed by Techland, published by Deep Silver. Welcome to the zombie apocalypse experience of a lifetime, more beautiful than ever. Caught in an epic zombie outbreak on the tropical island of Benoi, your only thought is survive. Uh, yeah, it's a good game. Really do like it quite a bit, and it retails at $19.99, and it is available on Windows and the Steam platform. I, I don't think that actually represents a Steam Deck. I think that is actually their Steam, uh, Steam Box format. Anyway, let's go on. Next we have... Cook, Serve, Delicious, which I hear is quite a good game. I think, uh, I think my friend Larry is into this one. Cook, Serve, Delicious. One of the few hardcore restaurant sims in existence, Cook Serve Delicious is a deceptively easy game to learn, but incredibly challenging to master as you progress through your career from owning a terrible zero-star cafe into a five-star world-famous restaurant. And uh, it's got very positive recently, but overwhelmingly positive, sitting on 3,000 plus, actually 3,500 roughly, uh, reviews. So pretty good game it's been out since 2013 so it's an older game it's by vertigo gaming and uh yeah looks pretty good what's the price on this one 9.99 and it's available on the big three platforms you got your windows mac and of course your steam box there we go time for another mystery egg here i'm gonna put this down so you can see it a little bit better call cthulhu dark corners of the earth I've got a Cthulhu game, but I don't think I have this one. Huh. Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth. Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth is a first-person horror game that combines intense action and adventure elements. I've actually liked uh, these Call of Cthulhu games. I was a big Cthulhu nut back in high school. It's getting mixed reviews. It looks like it's basically a first-person uh, shooter. And maybe it's more survival horror. Maybe. I'm looking at it. But uh, I like that kind of thing. So it might work out just fine. It was made by Head First Productions. And it was published by Bethesda, of all, of all people. And let's see, it's $4.99 retail. And that about, that about is all there is to say. It's unsupported on the Steam Deck, so I probably won't be playing it. And here we go. I, I noticed that they're in tiers now. So are these like better ones than the other ones? I don't know. All right. Click or open. Voyage, Journey to the Moon. I think we got that in the last one. Voyage, journey to the moon. Make fantastic discoveries and dare to go into the deepest depths of the moon to solve puzzles that will allow you to go back to Earth. Very positive reviews on it out of 114, which eh, that's not a whole lot to judge from. It's developed and published by Microids. I already had this one. And let's see, it's for Windows only and MSRP is $4.99. I kind of like these aliens, though. They look cool. And next, Anomaly Defenders, which I definitely got in a recent one. And here we have another repeat, Anomaly Defenders. Anomaly Defenders is the closing installment of the Anomaly series. The original incarnation of the tower offense subgenre had players controlling humans fighting alien invaders. Now the tables have turned. The human counterattack is underway, and the alien homeworld is under threat. 
Mostly positive out of 311, which is not too bad. Developed and published by 11-bit. And let's see. We've got 999 is the MSRP on this one. And it's available on all three platforms. So pretty cool. But I already have it. Time for another one. Narcos Rise of Cartels. <laughs> okay. I don't have that one, I don't think. Narcos Rise of the Cartels. Narcos Rise of the Cartels is a brutal turn-based action strategy game based on the hit Netflix TV series. Explore the entire first season from two sides, each with their own unique story. Join the Narcos and expand the drug cartel empire or take up arms with the DEA and bring it crumbling down. And it's sitting on 290 mixed reviews. Released in 2019, that was a while ago. Developed by Cujo and published by Curve Games. We see a lot of Curve Games on these. And looks like it's Windows only. It's, it's $29.99 but on sale for $2.99. Oh, wow. so that is... uh. That's way, way on sale, but uh, we'll put it on the sale price. All right, two left now. Gone Home plus the original soundtrack. Huh. <laughs> Dang, that was a loud bird back there. Gone Home with its original soundtrack. June 7th, 1995, 115 a.m. You arrive home after a year abroad. You expect your family to greet you, but the house is empty. Something's not right. Where is everyone? And what's happening here? Unravel the mystery for yourself in Gone Home, a story exploration game from the Fulbright Company. Sitting on 12,000, mostly positive. That is pretty good there. It means it's popular and gets good reviews. We've got Fulbright as the developer and publisher. I think I said that already in the description. It's a walking simulator, it says. Short indie exploration. Okay, so it's an exploration game. I might actually check this one out because it looks kind of interesting. I'm going to count the 1999 because it does include the original soundtrack. Um, yeah, it's available on uh, SteamOS, the Mac, and PC. This one looks kind of interesting. And the last one. Here we go. Helheim Hassel. And that one I've never heard of either. Helheim Hassel. Helheim Hassel is a narrative adventure game with puzzle platforming elements. Play as Bjorn, a pacifist Viking that can detach and combine limbs at will to solve challenging puzzles and get out of uncomfortable situations involving desperate Norse gods, goblins, dragons, and angry skeletons. Okay, it's got 140 positive reviews. It's developed by Perfectly Paranormal. That's a nice name. Published by Yogscast Games. And uh, looks pretty interesting. So it's got a little bit of puzzle platforming into it, but it looks, yeah, does look very heavily story-driven. And uh, it's available on Steam OS, Mac, and Windows. And currently it is selling for $19.99. So there we go. And that's the last one. And that wraps it up for the Mystery Egg Bundle. Let's get a total on this. The total of the 10 games was $116.90. And that is counting items that are on sale right now. Narcos, I think, is the only one that was on sale. But uh, that brought it down quite a bit because I think that game was like 20 bucks originally. Anywho, uh, three games I already had. So that's not really too bad. Let's go take a look at this next to the Spring Bundle, which came out at 104.14, even though it had 20 games. And then the... Um, the total price of that one would have been three sixty-five if it weren't on sale, but uh, it was so 
deep discounts hurt that one quite a bit. There were a number also that I already had. Going back to the Mystery Zodiac, 109.90 versus the Mystery Eggs, 116. And the Mystery Star Bundle, which is the first one I covered this year, 79.50 versus 116.90. So right now, the Mystery Egg Bundle appears to be the highest value one I've got thus far. I, I think that's pretty decent math. I mean, the spring bundle, that can be argued as far as being on sale, etc. but still. But still. Anyway, favorite games on this one. Astronarch, or Astronarch, or Astronarch. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it looked pretty darn interesting to me. Uh, we've got Gone Home looked really kind of interesting to me. That looks like a nice exploratory game. I'm going to check that one out. And Helheim Hassel also looks good. Uh, and that's kind of interesting because they're like the most expensive games. We've also got Dead Island Riptide. Uh, I would have been super happy with that one as well, but I already had it. So so that one, you know, didn't... Uh, didn't really count. Anyway, what's your favorite item on this list? Also, if you've already got this bundle, what's the best thing you got in it? Let me know in the comments down below because I'm always interested in finding out what is out there and uh, what I'm missing. Anyway, I want to thank you very much for watching this video. If you found it useful, please do me a big favor. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe for <laughs> thumbs up. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe for more and I'll see you in a couple days. Bye.